In other global news, as Russia gears up for its upcoming 2024 presidential elections, the Russian Communist Party, which is the country's second largest party, has decided to nominate Nikolai Kartanov to run against Russian President Vladimir Putin. Well, Kartanov is no stranger to presidential elections. This is not the first time that the Russian leader is contesting against Putin in race to the Kremlin. He ran against Putin in 2004 and managed to garner only 13.7% votes, while Putin recorded a landslide victory with over 71.3% votes. Kartanov's candidacy has been supported by an overwhelming majority of party members in a secret ballot. However, the ballot only had Kartanov's name leaving party members with no other options. The decision was taken hours after Russia's Central Election Commission barred independent contestants, contestant rather, Yakatirna Dunsova from contesting the election. According to the commission, there were many violations in the papers that she had submitted in support of a bid. Meanwhile, hundreds of supporters of pro-war Russia nationalist Igor Giryin, who is currently in custody, rallied in Moscow to back his bid to run for president. He was detained in July on an extremism charge following a series of posts critical of the Russian president Vladimir Putin. In August, Girkin had announced on social media that he wanted to run for president in the March elections. Girkin has repeatedly warned that Russia faces revolution and even civil war unless Putin military starts fighting the war in Ukraine more effectively. Russia has cracked down on nationalist critics who have called for much tougher approach to, to the ongoing fighting uh, with Ukraine. Putin has held continuous positions as the president or the prime minister since 1999. And this makes him the longest serving Russian or Soviet leader. The Kremlin says that Putin will win the next elections also. This is because he enjoys genuine support across society with opinion poll ratings of about 80%.